Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back showing off more of my CD collection. And uh, looking at this stuff as I was stacking up, we got a lot of grindcore in here. Uh, some death metal, but a good chunk of grindcore. And memento. Can't stand warm beer, so I can't let it go get warm on me. <clears throat> anyway, got a lot to get through. Got three huge stacks to show here. First up, we have Fear Factory, Soul of a New Machine, D Manufacturer, uh, Digimortal. I know a lot of people hate this album, but uh, it grew on me. Uh, Obsolete. Really glad I got the uh, jewel case version and not the uh, Digi Pack. Uh, yeah, this I prefer just to have this, not all that. Tons of bonus tracks tacked on. I hate that stuff. Uh, concrete. Uh, hate Files, which is... Uh, it's okay. Then we have uh, Mechanize, which I really enjoyed. And as you probably noticed, pretty much everything that I'm showing as far as Fear Factory goes has Dino in the band. Anything without him in it, I really don't care because I've, I listened to some of it and I just... I, it just didn't click with me. I prefer anything that has Dino Cazares in the band. Uh, this is The Industrialist. And, of course, their latest album, Genexus. Which is... It's okay, it's okay but... Um, I don't know. It's a little bit of a letdown I, in the end. Next up, we have uh, Son Adam, Messengers of Desolate Ways. This is, uh, what is this band's name? A Gruesome Find of Blood and Nobility. I got this at uh, Half Price Books. It was relatively cheap, and the cover and everything looked cool, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It's not bad. Uh, Kill Division, Destructive Force. Ah, Abnormality, The Collective Calm and Mortal Oblivion. Awesome, awesome band. Female Fronted, which, of course, is what... Initially caught my attention about this band, and uh, this lady can fucking belt out some good vocals, so definitely check them out, and here's their debut full-length album, Contaminating the Hive Mind. Really awesome stuff, in my opinion. More female-fronted uh, death metal here. This is Adorier with Author of Incest. Really awesome stuff. Alright. Next up is... Get it all organized here. This is a Circle of Dead Children with Exotic Sense Decay. And what is this one? Starving the Vultures. Sorry, I was having a tough time reading that. It's tiny print. Very tiny. This is uh, The Genocide Machine. And a boo -boo -boo. what is this? Zero Comfort Margin. Really awesome. Awesome band. Really good grinding death metal. Uh, next up, we have uh, All Pigs Must Die, God is War. Really awesome album cover. As well as Nothing Violates This... Uh, nothing Violates This Nature, sorry. Again, that tiny print. You know, I wear glasses, so obviously I have tough time seeing shit. <clears throat> this is Nails with Abandon All Life. I really need to get their debut album. I have it on vinyl, but I do not have the CD. This album here, if you've not heard it, you've got to check it out. It's just fucking amazing. Uh, next up is Mammoth Grinder with Underworlds. Total blind buy that uh, turned out great for me. Ah, this is a Grindcore classic. If you are a fan of Grindcore and do not own this album, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is Repulsion with Horrified. And this is the uh, two-disc edition that has the album and a uh, complete disc full of rarities. I am so happy to have this in my collection. It did take me a while to get it, I'll admit it, but uh, it is in my collection now, and that's all that matters. And then we have uh, Terrorizer with World Downfall, another grindcore classic here. And then uh, Hordes of Zombies. This is Cretan with Freakery, another band that I really need to get their new album. I'm very interested in hearing it. This is Blood Duster with Fisting the Dead. Really good Australian uh, grind death metal. Straight out of North Coat. Great stuff. Um, yeah. 
these guys are just very tongue in cheek about a lot of stuff. Very disgusting pictures on the inside. Very disgusting. So <laughs> be forewarned. Then we have Cunt. And this in, contains my favorite song. The very first song I ever heard from them. And I still laugh my ass off every time I hear it. It's track four. Porn Store Stiffy. You've got to hear that song. The The lyrics are just fucking hilarious. I, I love this band. Then we have uh, Regurgitate with uh, Effortless Regurgitation. The Torture Sessions. And this is Deviant. Alright, down the next little stack here. Uh, make sure I go. Okay, there we go. Brujeria Matanda en Hueros. Sick artwork. I can remember seeing this CD in the local CD store back when we used to have one, and they actually had a pretty decent selection of stuff. I remember seeing this, and I would look at it and I would like cover it up and just like, oh god, that's. But this is just fucking amazing stuff here. Then we have uh, Raza Udeada. And uh, Brujerismo. Next is uh, Asesino with Corridos de Muerte. This, uh, of course, features Dino Cazares of Fear Factory and also uh, Tony Campos, formerly of Static X. Currently, I believe he's still in Soulfly. Then we also have uh, Tristo Satanico. Really good stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of a good song on here. Ah! If you've never heard this band, check out uh, Padre Pedophilio. Let's see if I can point it out to you. Yeah, that song right there. That is one of the first songs I heard by Assassino that gives you a good idea of um, their sound. Then we have uh, Muma Kill with Flies Will Starve, another amazing album. I really need to get more from this band. Next up, we have a lockup with Pleasures Paved Sewers, and uh, this has some really cool members in it. I mean, Peter Tagren did the vocals on this particular one, and then um, Tomas Lindbergh from At The Gates, uh, I believe did it on, obviously, this one, which is Hate Breeds Suffering, but I believe he was also the vocalist on this uh, latest one, which is uh, Necropolis Transparent. Uh, really, really good stuff. Definitely check that band out. We have uh, the red cord with fused together and revolving doors. This is uh, pray for eyes. Uh, which one is this? Clients and fed through the teeth machine. Which th when I remember, you know, hearing about the red cord, this was the album cover that I remember seeing the most. It just that one really stuck in my mind. <sighs> then we have a band called Coalesce with A Safe Place. I got this, I think I got this at the Half Price Books Outlet Store. And the only reason I knew about them is because of a split with this next band that I have, which is, I believe, somewhere in this stack. Napalm Death, From Enslavement to Obliteration. Uh, this is Fear, Emptiness, Despair. Ah, here is said... Uh, Split, this is the split with Coalesce, as I said, uh, In Tongues We Speak. Very uh, grotesque artwork there. We have Scum. Death by Manipulation. Uh, Dia Tribes. This is uh, Enemy of the Music Business. Should have known that. That was one of my first Napalm Death albums. I should have known that just by the cover alone. Uh, Order of the Leech. This is the uh, BBC The Complete Radio 1 Sessions. I'd like to get the Peel Sessions of uh, Napalm Death at some point. Punishment in Capitals. Uh, this is uh, Smear Campaign. The code is red. Long live the code. Uh, utilitarian. And, of course, their latest one, Apex Predator. Easy meat. Next up, Wyatt, this is for you. This answers your question. 
for my Q&A. This is Anal Nathrak in the Constellation of the Black Widow. Fucking killer stuff. Uh, I really need to get more from them. I don't know why I don't have more. Next up, we have uh, Worm Rot with Abuse and Dirge. This one uh, I found out about from... Uh, I think there was a guy that uh, worked at Half Price Books, one of the stores that I went to, and he had a band shirt on, and this was the band, because I asked him about it. I couldn't read the logo at the time, because he kept moving. And I'm like, you know, what sh what band is that? And he told me, and I uh, went home, checked him out, fucking loved him, and promptly ordered the CD. This is uh, Transient. Really good uh, grind. Then we have Venomous Concept with uh, Retroactive Abortion. And uh, this was another blind buy for me. I got this, I think, used somewhere. can't remember exactly. But this is Gadget with the Funeral March. Really awesome grindcore. Check this band out. I still need to pick up their first album. I think they only got two out, I'm pretty sure. And uh, like it says in... Uh, Clerks, too, sometimes it's good to go ass to mouth. This is a uh, degenerate. Really, really, the band name alone just, you know, caught my attention. I was like, I've, I've got to check those guys out. And then we have a uh, triple X maniac harvesting the cunt nectar. This is a uh, cephalic carnage with lucid interval. And. Exploiting Dysfunction. Misled by... Misled by Certainty. My God, I am having a tough time reading shit today. And also, Xeno Sapien. More female-fronted extremity here. This is Landmine Marathon with Wounded. Is that right? Yes, Wounded. Couldn't tell if it was Wound or Wounded. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> And then we have uh, Rusted Eyes Awake. And this is uh, Sovereign Descent. And she is no longer with the band, last I checked. But yeah, but really killer stuff regardless. And then their latest one that I, rem that I know of, this is Gallows. <clears throat> Next up, Ling Chi, Man-Made Predator. And Hypomanic. And this is Marasmus. We have uh, Maruta with Remain Dystopian. And we are going to end things here with the almighty Pig Destroyer. This is uh, 38 counts of battery. Uh, Prowler in the Yard, just a classic right there. Terrifier. More boobies. <laughs> then we have the uh, Natasha single. This is uh, Phantom Limb. And Book Burner. And the last one is a band that I definitely need to uh, get more of. This is Agoraphobic Nosebleed Honky Reduction. So yeah, that is going to do it for this part of the collection. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.